but it's you know it's a it's a needed facility and where that dot there that boat ramp services a lot of people okay and money for roads this year yes yeah. well, at least yeah, I don't know. Well, and, uh, and we need there to was do a the possibility of them coming to us for Devil Lake Road they didn't know how much funding they would get Coming so we're talking about managing what? funds the, for the that? The Road Commission was a member of Aloha Township, oh, yeah. Aloha Township, when we had a meeting with them, yeah. and funding was coming through. They, they didn't know if they'd have enough for to pay for the whole road. Right. Right. <clears throat> I think we just put the roads down and, you know, we can talk about this. As, I just want to lay this all out for us yep. for our next meeting, and then we can do some kind of money around and, and prioritizing what we think we want to do. Okay. And we still have uh, the Burt uh, trail. trail. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to see if I've got everything on the list here. I've got gutters, library roof, township um, roof. I just put the Burt Trail there. East side fire pit, kayak launch, sand pit, additional dock, maybe for Woodruff and then replace the dock on the other side. Kayak rack for this side, clean the schoolhouse or some schoolhouse improvement. Um, fire truck parking for the um, boat ramp on Woodruff roads and explore fire, um, fire, um, new fire hall. Anything else? I'll just put this list together, then we'll figure out how much and what we want to do with it at our next meeting. Is that okay? And if anybody in between has another idea that you think we're missing, um, but I do like the discipline of having a capital project list and then not veering from it. I think, that, I think that's a good discipline, John, that you brought. Okay, um, to that next point is the budget workshop meeting. And I just would like us not to have a problem this year. Let's set a date early enough so we can go and do it. Um, so I'm asking if everybody would get out their books and see if we could do something. What do you mean by early? <laughs> well, I was thinking January. Yikes. January's not very good for for me, anyway. Uh, that's my Nor opinion. I. We do have a lot of year-end stuff. We have a lot of quarterly stuff. Well, I have, have a lot of taxes coming in. Yeah, I just think we want to do a little bit early so we can. Um, my, my reason for doing it in January was that we would have some time to really do some good exploration after the budget meeting. So, you know, I, I think if we could get the budget meeting done with enough time that we could really explore it, yeah, I think we'll have a bud better budget. Um, Don't you have W-2s and 1099s We have and all, all that. that? Yeah. yeah. Every bookkeeper's yeah. nightmare is January. In January. <coughs> There's no way. It's very difficult. And you're going to have we to tried to do it last year, and I think I went for it last year, but I, I, I really okay, well didn't want to do it. Can't and we'll do, do it. it Monday, the 2nd of February. How about that? Groundhog Day. And we'll let you get through January. Mm, and no, that's the day before a meeting. That's not good for any Okay, what about the 5th of February? About the 10th of February. When is your tax thing over? It's never over. <laughs> no, I mean when you, the last day that you have to be there all day, is that yeah, the 14th? The, no, the 16th now. 16th? So the 16th, but that whole week people are still, still they have right. to check the postmarks right. and get them in. And there's going to be a school election the 24th. And I don't know what, I, I could, what my responsibilities. I, I could do it either the, the the 10th or the 11th of February, but I don't know if the 11th is something else at the hall here on a Wednesday. I could How about do the 10th of planning February. meeting, John? Hmm? Is, would that be a planning on Wednesday? Wednesday's the uh, 4th. I can oh, do the 10th the or the 11th. It's the 1st and 3rd February, uh, Wednesday of February. Okay. Could people do the 10th of February? Going once. The 10th could be a problem for me. I, it's too early to tell right now. How about the 11th? The 11th also. Those oh. Both of those are possible meeting nights. Okay. Next. 
What about the next region? I don't want to go that far. I mean, we're way too far up now. We're having the same issue we had last year, which I don't buy, you know, but that's all right. Um, you know, we have a budgeting process we have to do in conjunction with everything else we have to do. It's no different. So, you know, I, what about the 12th? I like the 5th and possibly the 9th. Okay, what about the 5th? The 9th I can do. The 5th, the Thursday is not good. Okay, how about the 9th? I can do the 9th. Going once, you can do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Rachel, how about you? Are you here? Okay. Should we do it at 6 o'clock on the... Would that work for Perfect you? for me. 6 o'clock? 6 is kind of early for me. Okay, 7 o'clock. Okay, great. Um, Spirit Park update. The um, Recreation Commission Committee met with Emily and... Um, Christine, who is the new head of the DNR for um, leases and grants and whatever else. And uh, they came, and we spent about 30 minutes in here, I guess, and then we, we went for a walk down to the uh, Spirit Park. And um, they were, they couldn't stop talking. Dean was with us, so Dean, you can I'll send if anything you want to say. But anyway, basically we walked away from there that we are going to get either an easement or a, a lease for that, that space. We got two great <coughs> suggestions. Um, one is that we're not going to, if you remember, um, well, I won't go to, if you remember on Earth's drawing, he had a drawing that we had kind of two pathways going through it. We're only going to have one pathway and we're going to put um, benches and picnic tables right next to the uh, the trail. So instead of people going off and driving, you know, kind of through this little thing, they can go off and then they can drive into it, but they're not going to have two places to drive. They're going to be able to stop right by the trail and eat if they want to or have a have a, a bench. Are you saying bicycle drivers? Yeah, bicycle. Okay. Yeah, bicycle. Okay. It's, yeah, just want to make sure. It's just a little stopover, mm -hmm. some gazebos and that kind of stuff. A bike park. Yeah, bike park. You know, you saw his spirit park presentation mm -hmm. a while ago. So that's what they like. They gave us one other suggestion about um, there. There's some money, and this guy's working with Irv. Um, Nemcot had, well, no, first a guy named from Tip the Met Watershed is going to work with IRV to see if they will help us fund some of the um, natural gardens. Um, we're going to put some water collecting gardens in there. And also there's a way that maybe we can collect the water and then send cleaner water out. You know, that, uh, it's really, it's, it's pretty new stuff. But... Um, Emily knew of a person that, at the Watershed Council that she thought could help. There's also some money with NEMCOT, which were which she thought we could get to help us with some of the um, ideas that we have in there for signage and stuff. But they are using the money for signs uh, and kiosks along the inland waterway for the water trail this year. So NEMCOT doesn't have any money um, that we can't we can't get that money. Um, we were looking at maybe a kayak rack, or, you know, we we're looking at all kinds of different things, um, but we can't get it. Um, and then Chris is going to look at our lease request and put that together. So um, we're we're feeling really good about that park, and uh, I think it, it probably isn't going to be just you know overnight what's going to turn, but just depends on how much donations we get and how much you know people's back breaking you know willing to get in there and uh, clean it out and the big issue we have in there is, is um, poison ivy there's a lot of poison ivy and uh, she said we could uh, we can spray for poison ivy and now that we're going to get um, uh, Hobie certified we'll be we'll, he'll be able to do that um, according to the state so uh, that's that's not going to be a problem but it's very exciting I mean I think we should she said we could in a month or a month and a half have a lease or an easement, which is, I think, just unheard of for the DNR to work so fast. 
but they were really, really happy. Would you add anything, Dean? Uh, yeah, Mary, and the, uh, they were very clear that for all the trails have to be handicapped, yeah. and so that makes you have to have ash and gravel. Limestone, right. Rather right. than the original plan, which was chips. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for that. Yeah, that's the one change. We have to have um, gravel versus uh, chips. Through the little path? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we were we were okay with that. We, it wasn't perfect, but everybody thought that was just mm -hmm. fine for the handicap. So uh, car parking. Well, well, that we have to look at the Sullivan. Um, we had two ideas: one parking on the far end, where uh, Travis is right adjacent to Travis's uh, roadway there. Um, that would be that's in the plan. It won't be initially. We're not going to do it initially. We're going to try to clean the thing out first. And then the second one, we'll see if we can have parking on Sutherland once we get that resolved. Um, that and if they're coming off the trail, they don't need to park. No, but somebody may come off because we'll have, on on we'll have a couple of places. Yeah, but if we have a parking lot here, they can unload and get right on the trail and go there, too. Yeah. If we yeah. don't end up with a parking lot, it's not very far to go on a bike yeah, right. to the trail. Yeah. Be there. That's you could put you know a little bit of gravel in that one part down there. At the we end talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Or the we talked about the one in front of the restaurant at one time. Yeah. We never. Yeah. Yeah. So that's we can't the southern one. Yeah. But anyway, I just think we're in great shape, and in the spring or even in this winter, if we have any, you know, depending on what what Herb wants to do next, but we'll let you know as soon as we get the approval. <clears throat> so felt really good. But really, really good to have the support. Emily Meyerson uh, is going to be on next month's agenda for 15 minutes to give us a presentation on this inland water uh, trail. I didn't know anything about it. And, um, it, <clears throat> you know, that's how we could get maybe kayak racks or other kinds of things that we need for parks. Like she said, for the other side of the lake, that she thought there was money, and maybe next year, if they're not doing these kiosks for the trail, maybe there's a possibility we could get it in early with this renewal and get some money. So for like things like fire pits and that kind of stuff to, to improve parks. So she's gonna come um, in the January meeting and do a 15 minute slide presentation on this in the waterway park thing, which I thought would be good for all of us to hear about. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's it on um, my agenda here. John. All set. Dennis. Uh, nothing. Kathy. Um, I noticed that we do have um, perpendicular, um, the path route at the south end of the beach that our maintenance person has put up. And for the I, walkers. For the walkers. What it is for is for people with a little sled that they tote behind them with their fishing equipment or a bucket of minnows or a bucket to sit on. It gives like an egress to the lake and back up from the lake. It's not a snowmobile trail. It's still in the boundaries of the DNR post on the top. I have not visually gone down there to inspect what he's done at the bottom, but we, Kobe and I had a plan to have something there at the bottom so a snowmobiler won't misinterpret it and come up that area because then he'd have nowhere to go because he can't get through the post at the top. So I will inspect that and report back to you on that. But um, it is at the south end and that's where the walking trail will be for people to get on the lake or if we have ice skaters wanting to go down there because the fence will be in front of the um, beach area all the way across to keep the snowmobilers out and any other type of For real vehicle. Yeah, vehicle. Yeah, I mean, there could be a car coming up. I don't know. <laughs> but well, and Beeson Street, four -wheel drive, there are Beeson four Street will be open too. Beeson worked out very well for snowmobilers last year. I am one of them. And um, we made a point to keep running that way because uh, as soon as people see that trail, they, that's where you get off and on. That's Most of them follow it. So that worked out very well. And I think this year it's even going to be better because um, more people know it. Well, we don't have a pile of snow there that was, you know, always put there without knowing that that was going to be open for snowmobilers. And I think we've also cleaned out the beachfront area a little bit. So, mm -hmm. because it was impossible to come up the mail route. It was just so plowed up that even 
I'm a more advanced rider, driver on my sled, and it was quite dangerous to do. So I know somebody with a little kid on the back, it would have been, it would just been awful. So that's a little progress note on the beach. Should we do something about the memorial? I don't know what you can do. I think the county goes right down there with the snow to push it down there. That's what I was told, but I'm not sure. I'm just wondering if we, if I shouldn't check with them and see if we can keep that open too. It's a good on and off for snowmobiles. It's nice and wide, and it's flatter than coming up Beeson. Okay. But for vehicles, they always had used the launch at Woodruff. I'm not sure. I'm thinking everything's still fine there to do that. Yeah, sure. As far as I know. So vehicle-wise, cars, trucks always have used Woodruff. Snowmobilers have been getting off on Beeson. I'll check the mail route with uh, Mike. Yeah, I asked him about that. I'm not sure who plowed all that up, but it was real icy and hard, and it was impossible to, somebody had like dug through it, and it was very tippy to go through that. Yeah. Usually it's county road with the grader. I thought so too. It was who? The it's county road with the grader. County road, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll talk He has to no room to go down there and get things moved around. Rachel, do you have anything? Um, we have to do a resolution for the meeting schedule for the calendar oh, year sorry, 2015. I always did it as a fiscal year, but you have to do it this way. Um, I will pass this down. Everybody can look at the late, uh, the, um, at the schedule. They're all first Tuesdays. I went right back with the way we did it before, going to East Mullet in April. June and I believe October. So two days over at <coughs> three down. Yeah, three days. Three, yes, yeah. three meetings at East Mall. So that, that nothing has changed and they're all on the first Tuesday yet. So that makes it easy. Everybody can remember that. Is there anything else? Yeah. At 4.30 today, I got the uh, lease agreement back from uh, by email from Tim and the only thing that he added as we had suggested was the lease the number nine which the leasee agrees to hire and pay for the Mullet Township constable or an off-duty police officer to be present at the Mullet Township Hall during all times that the hall is leased by the leasee. That's the only thing that has changed. The other thing that you will notice um, is the there is no price because that has to go in a resolution which we could say if it's a profit organization we could charge them more. If it's an individual for a reception, um, we, we have to spell that out. But this is the main agreement that we agreed to. Um, Oh, several months ago. I've been waiting to get that done. So if we want to go with that, fine. If anybody has any changes, mark it up. I'll send it back. So um, just so I understand, this will take the place we'll of take the, the one we got. We'll take the sum out of it then? Or yeah, we don't want to put a... That has to do, the reason he said to me was he didn't want to put that in there because then you don't have the ability, if you have somebody else that comes along and we decide later on, okay, a profit organization, say, that's making money, we can rent to them, but we may want to decide to charge more. Okay, so what would we put in? Nothing. That would be filled in by the lease, by us, when we know how the hall is going to be used. Yeah, I know. So we still have the generic well, we $45 still, a month. That, that's yeah, what I'm asking. But we yeah. have to have a resolution that has to be exactly. written after this is passed, and he will write that for us. Okay, so right now that can be... Yeah. Okay, okay. so let's go back to this schedule. Is everybody okay with the schedule? Mm -hmm. Uh, can we have a motion to approve the resolution for the meeting schedule of 2015 for Mullet Township? So moved. Support. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. A roll call on this because oh, it's a resolution. Oh, yeah, sorry, roll call. Jeff? Yes. 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 Yes
John? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Mary? Yes. So on this one, Rachel, do you want to um, do you want a motion? Yeah. To accept. to accept. With the stipulation that we're going to have a resolution on the pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need a motion to accept the lease agreement for the hall. Now, is this okay? Uh, Glasses later. Motion to accept the lease agreement for the hall as written, with the exception that we need a resolution for how much we're going to charge people. I love John Seaman. It's the same one except that one change in the. Yeah, I wished I would have known that it's was coming, but I didn't. It's number one. Um, before the motion, can we have discussion? Sure. Sure. Because I have um, a question about it too. Yeah, that number one, the way it's worded bothers me right now. Um, if if we're going to have a resolution, then I think number one needs to be written in a fashion that says uh, that the leasee, I mean, the leasee shall pay to the leaser the sum uh, as stipulated by uh, resolution okay. or ordinance yeah. number. Uh, Instead of putting that in there, right? Yeah. yeah. So that we have this other document that you know. Maybe a payment. Uh, uh, well, it might be a document we want to explore for other purposes too. But you know, typically municipalities have what's called a fee ordinance that they visit every year, and they charge their licensing fees and and rental fees and. Uh, Permit fees and and all of that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, you know maybe maybe we want to explore something like that. Yeah, that wording can change. I'll have you change that. Okay. Yeah, that gives everybody the chance well, to know it out that there. it might change. Right. That it's not always going to be the 45 for residents. Also private, references. Private the other parties. Documents. Yeah. And that will all have to be yeah. changed. I, that's why. I like it because it goes to the other document. Yeah, it goes to that. The okay, other, I'll the other question, the other question I have, and I know this is a sore subject, but I'm going to bring it up again. The other hall is being used, and we have liability when that other hall is used. And now, I every time I bring it up, I get told, well, it's only for a few, you know, people's little birthday party or a baby shower. You know, I don't care what it's for. We still have liability if somebody's in there. Um, using that hall and they're well when we just apply this that's what I think I think we need to have put a, put a system in place that the hall used on either side would follow this procedure not just and you know that would change the yeah the name of change it. it to a total oh, place it's going to be in East Mullet Lake Hall yeah. that's all awesome Okay, then you want a motion, or do you want to wait until you get? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the. It'll be another. Yeah, I'm saying we could do the motion and then work the resolution next. Yeah. Well, he'll have to. Yeah. Okay. We really should. If we're yeah. going to do a motion, we should be able to hand it out to everybody. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, let's see if we can have for the next meeting. And, and we'll have the resolution. This yeah, I'll try, but us. you know, this I is a ask month. this for two months. Oh, it's, my God. I mean, it goes on and on and on. The, okay. the next thing is the street light district, which I've been working on since last January. And I want everybody to read this letter, which we have, we have never set up a street light district, ever. It was put into play in 1949. I dug up all the information that I had, which was, uh, I don't know who the clerk was then, but the only thing it mentions in the minutes was, um, we're setting up a light district and we're gonna have consumer power come out and they're gonna take care of all the lights, period. 
So now, in order to get this into a legal situation, and he just did it for Inverness this summer, um, we need to have a letter go out, and Clayton will print them. We'll have to stuff them and pay for the postage. Then this is a, because we do have a special assessment for that. And we've What's had a special assessment for it forever. What's yeah. Mullet Lake Road? I don't know. I've got to clean that up. Or which I didn't have time to call him. I mean, he was already closed by the time I got it. And I, I'll have to ask him about that. Um, but every person in the streetlight district will get this letter. The streetlight district is all the way down 27 and a half, what is he saying there? Half a mile. Half a mile. East and a mile. Yeah. Is it east or? He doesn't have that, he just has. You mean this one? He, he oh, just, here it is. He doesn't have yeah, that. Yeah, I got it. that one. Half a mile One mile westerly and a half a mile easterly, including all of Birchwood addition, all of Long Point addition. If you have lights in your addition, so we're providing them. It doesn't say how far down M27. Well, from well, the, 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 from the, the lines, from the country, Birchwood all okay, okay. six, up to Inverness and down to Tuscarora. It's probably down, even that light on, um, Oh, what's it? Silver Actually, Beach? Know, Silver Beach. That, that's yeah. ours. Yeah. yeah, that's our. Yeah, that's the I end of our, that's the end about of that. that. She called me one know if that was ours, and I said, yeah. The lady that I set this up with. A mile west? Well, the theory has always yeah. been, and I don't know whether anybody agrees with that. It goes out to Bennett a mile, right? Is that, I mean, west of the 27th? Yeah. North Park Trail. The theory has um, always so been, if you use a system. light to go down to your street or make a turn like us mm -hmm. off Mullet Bird. To the highway. Off the, the highway, Bird, you are, Trail. you have a benefit from that light. I'm going to challenge that. <laughs> Half a mile? Half a mile at the most, because a mile west on Mullet Burt would be past Richardson Road, probably one of the most dangerous intersections on that road because it's in that hill, and there's there's no benefit for that light there. Uh, you go on Tribon no, Road. There? There's no. No, there. and I don't. There's no. I, I'm not proposing putting any more lights in. I'm just trying to say where the benefit is. You go on Tribon Road, and you've got Stemke Road intersection that is not lit. Uh, but they have a benefit of the tri-band light at 27. But I'm. Uh, but it is say a mile I, in. But a but a, mi but a mile in, in, Rachel goes up the two track. Okay. And gets okay. all the properties up there at the by the airport. Don't get it's 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 too well, far. Well, I understand why the half a mile is east because the lake is there. Yeah. yeah. The lake is there, and you have to but cover Birchwood and Long. Does a, does I'm a saying a half a mile happen. each side. In, is is reasonable, well, but a mile. That's what I said, and I think he didn't remember when he put it. Together. I would think a half a mile would be reasonable. A half yeah. a mile. This is the map that the gal downtown did for me. And originally, that's what we said was a half a mile, and I think that's a misprint. I think he didn't do it right yes. because I said a half a mile. Yeah. First, well, and that's what I just want to see. Yeah. And then when I said, I, I, I just so perused this, this and, right there with and this should be a half a mile. Yeah. And that's what we talked about. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Woodmancy Road. You know, I mean, you would have to be all the way up to Bennett Road. We need to put this a line there. Where's what you said? At Woodmancy. Yeah, but not, but, but not up at uh, Bennett Road. Yeah. Well, we talked about that's another whole project. Yeah. It just shows all the way down here. Yeah, it doesn't show. It doesn't show. It doesn't show. It doesn't show. Yeah. And here is. These uh, are the lights that are existing. This is all up top in the B. See how they all have lights? We pay is this existing? Yes. The yellows? Mm-hmm. 
Those well, they, are all lights we pay for. Do they? Are they, they don't go a half a mile. Are they yeah. assessed? Yeah. Are these people assessed? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th okay. That's a separate okay. fund. Yeah, no, but I mean, this street light fund. I mean, comes on the winter. Are they assessed? Yeah. Assessed the state at $15 now? Well, that's the uh, average. Uh, I took my bill and the point oh four that we're paying right now which can go down because we have some money now. We had to build the fund back up. But every July, we will get together at the July meeting and we'll decide how much money we need to pay the light. Now that's all going to change because we're going to go to the less expensive light eventually. Okay, so it never, it never hits Richardson. Well, if these are existing, though, we no, but I'm saying they go a no, mile in. But that's the, that's the mile. So I think he went a half mile on these maps. Well, she yeah. did. See, when I had the maps made, they're a half mile. They're a half a mile. Yeah, it's not a mile. There's yeah. no way. There's still mile. about 950 people. Yeah. Okay. So that it seems to fair to go a half a mile each way. Yeah. This sure. has to yeah. change. I changed that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you have a, does anybody have a problem with the letter? I want everybody to see it. Uh, you want to see these? I haven't even seen the draft. I almost did. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should have that. Oh, yeah. We could have. You don't have a street. It's every copy right now. What, um, Rachel, what is your desire tonight? To I want to get the letter, letter approved so I can get Clayton to print them and get them stuck before the January meeting. Because okay. in January, we're going to take a look at this. Does a half a mile make any difference with the $15? No. Okay. I don't think so. Half a mile and half a mile and less parcels. There was a mile there. Yeah. Well, I'd rather say half a mile and make sure there's no increase because there's less parcels now. The reason we have to have this done. have enough fat in the budget right or in the fund right now that we can float it for a couple of years. We can float it because we haven't paid a bill in six months. Yeah. We had that credit. We got a $9,000 credit. So we was a nice credit. The reason we need the letter to go is because in January, the resolution of the Mullet Township Board to hold a public hearing to begin special assessment district for lighting purposes has to be passed. Okay. And then the public hearing is in February. Yep. So does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Half a mile works for me. Yeah, half a mile. And that's what Clayton and I talked about. In last January. Okay, good deal. We'll get okay, the so then on. let's have a motion. Do yeah. we have a motion for that? Mm -hmm. yeah, we have a motion to accept the lighting district letter. I'll make a motion to accept the lighting district letter. I think you want to put in changing the, the, the denim one, or whatever. Uh, uh, to a half uh, mile. It's on this other side. I'm not sure which. Half a mile west and a half a mile east for the light district. On here? No, it's no, not yeah, on that letter. Yeah, oh, all. it's going to be over on. It's on this letter. Yeah, that has to go with. Yeah, the this letter. has to be changed then. Yeah. There's about 900 people in the district. Now, do we do on the other side of the lake? No. There's no, no lights there's over no there? There's no street light district over there. They have to get their own street lights. No, no, if we wanted to put a street light district over there, we could. I mean, that's pretty dark and... It is. It's awful over there. I'm sure consumers would be thrilled if we did it. Press guys. Press, yeah. Uh, I think they're different. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, John. I'm not consumers at my house. John's now the chairman of the board. Well, so I have it. one street light up on Bennett that is press guile. That comes out of this fund. Okay, so we have a motion on the table. To, we need a, a mo somebody to make the motion to approve the streetlight letter and then the notice of the public hearing with the change to half a mile westerly and a half mile easterly. Kathy just made that motion. I, I, oh, you I made it? Okay, second yeah, for the motion. Then. What's the second for the motion? Who seconded? I'll support it. Okay. All, any discussion? Any more discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
Opposed? Motion carries. Anything else, Rachel? And it's just where we need you know who to stop. Okay. Yeah. If I don't have her tied up now that it's no, December. No, don't tie her up. I need to get a normal <laughs> schedule. Okay. No, my deputy will help. She'll do it. Uh, also, we got another $250 check from Enbridge for um, first responder education. So that was nice. I'm done. Okay. I um, have one thing that I just thought of. Actually, two. Rachel, there's a street light out down here. Where? <laughs> Toward Nocus. Noca? Toward Nocus. Uh, got an address? <laughs> no, I just went by it. Last night, coming home from Detroit. Oh, yeah? yeah. And uh, I noticed it was out. Uh, and then the other thing is, is has the um, cover ever been repaired in the men's room on the heater? Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, the, um, there's some, somebody pulled two latches off the women's and the men's bathroom door, and we've got them over to be replaced. Okay. We should have them replaced either tomorrow or Wednesday. And uh, but the other thing I should have mentioned, the heat tape has been purchased, and he's going to try to get it up tomorrow. Nice. So it's supposed uh, to get nicer by the weekend. The heat tape. Remember oh, we discussed the, the, yeah. the tape for the... Yeah. Is he going to pay for that? Or does he want me to... He's going to... He, he had already bought it. Oh. He's already bought it. Right. And then he'll give you the tape bill. Yeah. It'll just come on his invoice. Is there a... Um, Motion to approve the bills. So moved. Second. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Who you're making it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making that motion. Is there a second? Support. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Motion to adjourn. All in favor. Everybody's in favor. We're adjourned. At the call of the chair, yeah. it can be adjourned. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, you know, Mary, it can be adjourned.